Hi Capricorn, welcome and thank you for joining me. This is your November 2015 monthly horoscope, except this particular reading is only going to cover the first two weeks of the month because I also do mid-monthly videos and those typically cover the last two weeks of the month. So I'm trying something different. I'm gonna be uh, doing a part one and a part two. This is part one and then uh, mid-month around the 15th, you can come on back for uh, part two. Okay, so I'm doing it a little differently as well. This is the first week and this is the second week. I have also incorporated the runes with the cards. So they all they help to tell a, tell a story and give more information than just the cards alone and uh, the energy and combination is amazing. So let's get started. So the first week of November, we start with a rune, obviously, for you. And this rune is Isa. And this is talking about a standstill or withdrawal. So you might have plans that are on hold. There might be obstacles and delays in your life that seem to be you know, beyond your control. There's, it's, it's out of your hands. There's nothing you can do about it. It's the forces of nature, the forces that be. And you're just like kind of forced to deal with it or go with the flow. So don't give in to any frustration or anger over these obstacles or delays right now. Instead, surrender to them. Go with the flow of it. Be patient because this is a time of gestation and that gestation precedes a rebirth. So there's definitely going to be a rebirth that comes as a result of the delay and it might even be you know, bigger, better, and sweeter than what you had originally hoped. The first card that we have for you for the first week of November is the Page of Pentacles reversed. And so, again, you may be experiencing difficulties of some kind, obstacles, delays, frustration, etc. But this can talk about, you know, experiencing frustrations as a result of maybe not reading the fine print clearly enough, going over, you know, a contract or some paperwork or legal documents or whatever, you know, with a fine tooth comb and a uh, um, uh, magnifying glass. I almost said inspection glass for some reason. So, you know, this, this can be, you know, all about red tape, paperwork, rules, um, just, just the, you know, the system, so to speak. The sis, here we go. I'm trying to get used to this new camera. The system, there you go. <laughs> so maybe it's the system and you're, you're feeling the frustration over it because you just, you got to go through again, all the red tape and the black tape even and the paperwork and the rules and the regulations and the standards and the laws and the whatever, you know what I mean? And so this could, this could be talking about that. Um, but again, it's interesting that it's right next to you know, the, the room that talks about, you know, taking a, a standstill, taking a step back and withdrawing because these two definitely go hand in hand. There is something going on here that, again, is out of your control and there's nothing that you can do but surrender to it and let go of the anger, let go of the frustration. You're going to have to go through whatever this process is, especially if this is, you know, paperwork involved, okay, red tape, etc. rules, regulations, you know, it's like, it's just, uh, you know, 3D earthly stuff. It's, it's, it's the laws of the land and you, you have to go through whatever this process is in order to kind of, you know, get through it and come out the other side. The next rune we have for you is Gibo. And Gibo is, you know, partnership, talks about partnership. So a partnership in some form is at hand. It's on your mind or you might be having to take a partnership into consideration as you make important decisions in your life moving forward. This can be marriage, this can be romance, this can be children, this can be work partnerships, business partnerships, etc. Friends, anything in your professional or personal life, any type of relationship. So you might be having to think of others while you, you know, plan your next move or play the chess game of life. And so this is saying, you know, the warning with this rune is to not collapse yourself into whatever this dynamic situation or relationship is. And collapsing yourself into it means like losing your identity within other people or within a relationship or partnership, codependency, relying too much on them to tell you what to do with your life and that make decisions for you. Don't lose yourself in whatever this, you know, partnership or relationship is. Keep your sense of individuality and, um, and you know, it's interdependence versus codependence. That's the, the, the rule of thumb here, the name of the game. 
what you want to try to shoot for. So the last card that we have for you for the uh, first week of November is the Two of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So this is feeling overwhelmed by complexity, unable to maintain balance. You know, this is disequilibrium, basically. Disorganization, too. So you could be feeling overwhelmed by your obligations at this time, Capricorn. And there's too much on your plate, and you're being pulled in 50 million different directions, and you just feel like you could lose your mind and obviously lose your balance and, and fall over, okay, or have a meltdown. So this is, you know, like letting you know that you need to narrow your focus right now. You need to take off the obligations and responsibilities and the extra activities off of your plate, off of your shoulders, the weight, the burden on your shoulders, out of your schedule to... Narrow your focus, only put your energies and your intentions and your focus into things that are really important and really matter for you to move forward right now and for you to evolve on your soul path with your soul contract and to help you move forward and step into you know the, the next stage of life or the type of life that you want to live. Stuff that's going to progress you, not you know digress you, so to speak. So narrow your focus. Once you narrow your focus and really hone your energy in the, in the, on the things and in the things that are, are positive and uplifting for you, not, not stuff that makes you feel drained. Um, you know, that's, that's something like with work. A lot of people who are in uh, jobs that they hate, etc. it drains their energy. It drains their light source, their energy, their purity. It tugs on their soul. They're just exhausted all the time. People who do what they love for a living are always invigorated and re-energized by it. Yeah, they get tired. Yeah, there's long days, but nothing that some deep rest and good nutrition can't handle. Their mental and emotional awareness of it is always perky and uptight and, I'm sorry, not uptight, perky and, um, uplifted and um, uh, just excited. You know, they're invigorated by it. It recharges their batteries instead of draining their batteries. So narrow your focus. Once you narrow your focus, it's going to bring stability back into your life and then you'll have like a better sense of sanity. You're not going to feel like you're going to lose all your marbles. Okay. So moving into the second week of November, the first rune that we have for you there is Hagalaz. Still getting used to this new camera. There we go. Um, so this is the, the rune that's disruption of elemental power. Elemental power is deep within, okay? So there's change, freedom, liberation, independence, uh, definitely on the horizon for you, Capricorn. And um, that's what this is all about. You know, and it's interesting. It's interesting that this rune is right underneath uh, um, Isa and right underneath the two of or the page of Pentacles here that's all talking about the needing the need to withdraw and stand still and etc. Go with the flow and etc. And you're 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 overwhelmed over here and you're having to make some some decisions that are good for you and help you really take care of yourself properly. And in doing that, you might be stepping out on your own. You might be breaking off obligations, breaking off activities, breaking off um, even relationships or partnerships, backing out, bowing out of something. You're not quitting. You're just honoring yourself and doing what you need to do for your own health and well-being and sanity moving forward. So definitely change, independence, liberation, freedom, changes on the horizon for you. Now, the card that's right next to that is the star card upright, very positive, good card, uplifting, exciting, you know, a ray of hope and sunshine in your life because this is hope, inspiration, good luck, um, tranquility, optimism, you know, seeing the glass half full instead of half empty all the time, feeling recharged, you know, feeling invigorated again, uh, reestablishing tr re trust in your life with yourself and those around you. And just, you know, overall enjoyment, feeling good again and enjoying what you're doing and, and who you're doing it with and the life that you're living and the choices that you're making and just kind of like reinventing yourself, reinvigorating yourself, tapping into your creativity and just doing stuff that really brings you joy. So it's interesting that this is right next to Hagalaz, which again is talking about change and freedom, liberation, independence, etc. You are definitely going to be making decisions in your life that are going to be freeing you from whatever this bondage is up here. This is like heavy energy, bondage, stagnation, obstacles, delays, uh, you know, hands tied behind your back, heavy weight, heavy luggage, ball and chain. You know what I mean? Just being anchored in one place and not being able to move, stagnation, etc. Heavy, heavy, heavy energy. 
um, and also Capricorn, you know, um, not speaking to others where it sounds like the tip of my tongue. What is it? What is it? Um, answering there it is having to answer to others up here you know what i mean you're kind of you might be living your life for other people doing what they want you to do bending over backwards being a caretaker being codependent giving yourself away etc and so now capricorn is going to be taking a stand and um you know saying no more <laughs> i've got new boundaries and i've got new standards this is the life I want for myself. This is what I want to do. These are the people that I want in it. These are the people I don't want in it. These are the opportunities I'd like to receive, the abundance and prosperity. This is this is an activity that makes my heart sing. Um, this is a career field that I want to embark on, a new path, etc. You're definitely going to be making some bold decisions, bold moves, drawing lines in the sand, creating new boundaries, upping your standards, and not settling for less. You're going to be making the choice not to settle for less anymore and you're looking towards a brighter future now the next rune that we have for you is manas and this is the self isn't that interesting that this rune came out right next to these cards and the other runes this is all about the self so this is a time for major personal growth and rectification and you know the general rule of thumb is rectification must come before progress anyway it's kind of like you know um uh, tending to your garden, okay? You've got to till the soil before you plant the seed. And then you plant the seed and then you have to nurture it and, and through its gestation period and nurture it and care for it while it grows and blossoms. And so rectification, you have to rectify things in your life that are hanging in the balance, loose ends, miscommunication, bent feelings, broken dreams, um, old wounds, all of those kinds of things, rectify whatever it is that you need to rectify. The capital R, you know what I'm saying? And once you do that, especially through your personal change, personal development, and standing up for yourself over here, making decisions that are for your greatest and highest good, putting yourself first before everybody else, and doing what's right for you moving forward, this is the self rune that's talking about all of this major change. And this is helping you open your eyes. This is a message to open your eyes. And this is all about know thyself. Know thyself. If you've been walking around with blinders on or you've been walking around to sleep or you have really given up your life for the sake of others, you've lost your identity, you are bend over backwards, you're too nurturing, too caring, too codependent, etc. This is saying know thyself, honor thyself and stand up for thyself and reinvent yourself. Step out of Capricorn 1.0 and step into Cap Capricorn 2.0. And I said that for another video too. Because it's true. This is a time for a lot of us, no matter what birth sign, a sun sign, ascending, etc., rising sign, or even moon sign that we're in, no matter what sign we are, we're all going through big changes in different ways. And so this is definitely coming up for Capricorn this month, that you are definitely going through big changes within the self, and you are, again, upping your standards, setting new boundaries, and you're not, you're not going to be settling for status quo or settling for less anymore. Now the last card we have for you for the second week of um, November is the Five of Cups reverse. Lovely, because this is talking about the pain is ending, Capricorn. Whatever you've been going through, obstacles, delays, relationship woes, um, just you know, conflict within yourself, whatever pain has been coming up and situations uh, that you've been dealing with that has left you definitely kind of down and out or down in the dumps or sad or depressed or feeling turmoil within, all of that, this is saying that's coming to an end. Good news is on its way to you, a sense of relief, even acceptance. Once we accept a lot of things in our lives, all the ickiness washes away. So you're going to be recovering from your past hurts, and you're, there's going to be healing of your heart. Healing of your heart and learning of a lesson or lessons, ascending as you know on your spiritual path, ascending as your soul path, your contract, and, you know, once you learn these lessons and you rectify things, you make peace with it, you make amends, you take responsibility for your part in it, you apologize to those that, you know, were involved, and you move on, responsibility and accountability, um, then, you know, all of this kind of stuff will wash away, and the healing of your heart and the le learning of the lessons will stop that karma wheel, and you won't have to come back and learn 
it again. As I say, learn that shit again, okay? So, um, hold on, my computer, there we go. So the last rune that we have for you that's crowning your reading is Othelia. And this is in the reverse. Like, there you go. So this is definitely not a time to be bound by old conditioning or old authority, Capricorn, okay? You might be pushed or urged at this time to undertake, you know, a radical departure of your old ways. You are definitely shedding some skin here, you know, and uh, stepping out of old constricting, um, you know, ways and, and, and getting a new paradigm of thought, New even a new belief structure, okay? Just opening your mind, expanding your mind, seeing things in a different way. Old ways of conditioning, old habits, old behavior. Um, so radical radical changes, radical departure of old ways, cutting all of that off. You might be pushed or urged right now by universe or situations or circumstances that come to a head that forces you to have to, you know, uh, take a new path in how you handle things or react to things, etc. Breaking old habits. So... Total honesty will be required for you to be able to do that. And but what that means is honesty in your own personal accountability and responsibility for the choices that you make and the actions and the reactions and the um you know the not doing the same old thing all the time expecting different results. So this is saying stepping out of denial and into awareness, and you will be doing that more and more as you go through. This personal transformation, this uh, the self, the self development, okay, self healing, awareness, epiphanies, revelations, etc. Making new choices and decisions for yourself, boundaries, da da. I mean, all of that. Doing this, this requires uh, inner strength, um, account, uh, not only accountability, but inner strength, confidence, assertiveness, and um, you know the will to to demand that that's what you want in your life and in order to even get that far you have to step out of denial and and really take take your own personal inventory take your inventory uh make pros and cons lists where are you not holding yourself accountable where are you not holding yourself responsible who are you blaming instead of looking at yourself who are you trying to pass the buck on etc so Capricorn, this is definitely a time of personal change and personal growth for you. And this is good. I mean, it's, you know, everybody's situation is going to be different. The, the, the um, intensity of the dynamics and the situations and the relationships are going to be different for everybody. Some people, this might be a little bit of an easier transition than others. Um, some of you might have had less pain upright, less pain than other Capricorns out there. Again, everybody's... Um, you know, situation is different, but nonetheless, there's going to be healing going on all around for the Cappies out there. So that was your card, uh, your cards and your runes for the two weeks. Now I do have two angel cards here for the for the first week. This is from the um, Doreen Virtue Indigo Angel deck, and this is Love Yourself. So that's very interesting, and the artwork is beautiful. So Capricorn, this is definitely a time to love yourself, know thyself, just like you know the runes are saying. Love yourself, self-nurture, put yourself first. Um, step out of denial, take accountability, take responsibility, step out of codependency, regain your sense of independence, clarity coming to you. Um, just And love yourself in the process. Don't focus on your shortcomings or the negativity or be critical of yourself. Allow yourself to go through the learning that you need to go through and love yourself in the process. And it'll, it'll make this transition easier if you're not hard on yourself while you are trying to, you know, uh, grow and evolve. And then the last uh, angel messages card that we have for you is look through, hold on, where is it? Look through the situation. Can you see that? Where's the glare? Okay. Look through the situation. Beautiful illustration. I say that about every card. Look through the situation. What are you not seeing right now? What is going on in different situations, circumstances, scenarios, relationships, partnerships, any other aspect of your life that you're not seeing? What's going on deep within you that you're not seeing or choosing not to acknowledge or recognize? What is it that you're not seeing that you need to see in order to move through it and move beyond it and, um, and move on up?
So look through the situation, look for, think about things in a different way, look for different clues, signs, symbols. Um, and, you know, again, the, doing that will bring epiphanies and revelations and you'll start to see things um, in different ways. You'll have aha moments that you didn't expect to have. So look through the situation while you're going through this transition and love yourself in the process. Nurture yourself, self-love, self-care, self-nurturing. Do everything that you need to do to support yourself during, during this transition mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, etc. Okay? And, um, and you, will, you will pull through onto the other side. And, of course, ask your angels, your spirit guides, and the good Lord above for help help and assistance to give you strength, to give you guidance, give you clarity, help you make good decisions, right decisions. And, um, and they will, if you pay attention, pay attention to the signs and the, you know, the voice that calls from deep within, that's them. Okay. They're sending you messages. So be open to receiving those and you shall receive my loves. All right, Capricorn. So that was your reading for the first two weeks. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, Feel free to join us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash life love tarot. If you'd like to get a hold of me, you can email me, life love tarot at gmail.com. If you'd like a reading, you can go to my website, www.lifelovetarot.com forward slash services. I'll put the links, you know, in the description box below. You can find, find me there. Uh, feel free to leave comments and messages and whatever beneath this video or email me, etc., etc. I hope that you have a wonderful first two weeks of November. We will see you back here around November 15th for part two for your mid-monthly video update. All right, Capricorn? Namaste, my friends. Bye.